Hi there! In this video I'm going to show you how to turn in a handwritten assignment to Google Classrooms. So here we find ourselves in the classroom tile page, the home page. I'm going to click on my class and I'm going to click on classwork and I'm going to show you how to turn in week two homework and the chapter one test. But before we even get to that point I want you to go to your Google Drive. So go up to the waffle and we're going to go to Drive. When I do that, I see that I have a classroom folder here, and if I double click on that, I've got Chat Algebra 1. Okay, now that's the class we're dealing with right now. If you have signed up for additional classes using Google Classroom, they would all have a separate folder within the classroom folder. So we're not gonna mess with that at all. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna create a new folder by right-clicking and say new folder and I'm gonna call this um, algebra assignments to upload click on create and here's that folder okay so now I'm ready to go now we need to get the assignment scanned you can either do this on your computer if you have a scanner and you're comfortable using it or you can do it with a scanning app now there are lots of different scanning apps out there but I'm going to show you how to use one that's called Genius Scan. It's easy to use and it's available for both Android and iPhone users. So the first thing you need to do is download the app. There are paid versions of the app, but you just need the free version because it will do everything you need it to do. So you go and download the app and then uh, the next step is to scan your assignment. The first thing you're going to do is find your Genius Scan app, tap on it, and then hit the orange plus button. Then you're going to find your assignment and you'll notice that it's trying to pick out the size and the shape so it can automatically scan it but I think what's easier is when you have it in your screen just tap on the photo button and it will take your first picture. When it finishes it's ready to take the next one. So I'm going to go to my next page and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to tap on the picture button and there's my second page. I'm going to do the same thing with my third page and for this assignment I'm done. So I'm going to tap on the done button and now I need to edit these a little bit so that they're easier to read. So tap on the magic wand, go to edit and tap on recrop and then just with your finger in the corner, drag the corners to the corner of your paper. And when you're finished, tap done. Okay, so now that is a photograph. Let's see what it looks like if I tap on filters and then tap on black and white. If it's clear, leave it as black and white. If it's not clear, then leave it as a photo. Okay, I think that's probably good. So I'm going to swipe. To the next page and repeat the process. I'm going to recrop it first and it automatically picked out my paper pretty well so I don't need to do anything there. Tap done and now I'm going to look at the filters and see if it looks better in black and white or as a photo. I think that one looks okay in black and white. All right I'm going to swipe to the next page and do the process one more time. Okay, I think that looks good. I'll just scroll through there, see what it looks like. Looks good. So now before I upload it, I want to change the name. So tap on the name at the top, delete that, and type in Algebra 1, Week 2, Homework, and then put your name. So the name I've been using here is Minion student and then tap rename. The next thing we want to do is to tap on the box in the bottom right hand corner. I want you to go down here where it says export to. Tap on files and the choice that we want to pick is Google Drive. And you'll see popping up there those two folders that we have. This algebra assignments to upload is the one that we recently created. So I'm going to tap on that 
and up at the top you see that it says the item will be saved to that folder so I'm going to tap on save and it should be uploaded to the Google Drive. While I'm at it, I'm going to do the same thing with the test because we're going to upload that as well. So I'm going to tap on the box at the bottom. Now notice you do have the option of emailing it as an attachment to yourself. So if for some reason the Google Drive thing isn't working for you, you can do it that way as well. So I'm going to tap on the files again and then I'm going to tap on the Google Drive again, my algebra folder, and I'm going to save it. That's all there is to it. Now we just need to go into Google Classroom and attach that file to our assignment. So to actually turn your assignment in, you have one of two choices. You can use the Google Classroom app on your phone, or you can do it from your computer. So on the phone, you would tap on the Classroom app, and then there's our class. I would tap on Algebra 1, and then down at the bottom, tap on Classwork. I'm going to scroll to the assignment that we just did, which was Week 2 Homework. I'm going to tap on my Week 2 Homework. At the bottom, I'm going to slide the arrowhead up, and it says Add Attachment. I'm going to tap on that. I'm going to choose Drive, and it's going to take me to my Google Drive. And here's that folder that we put the assignment in. So you tap on that. Tap on the Algebra 1 assignment. At the bottom it says the file is being added to the assignment. And I choose Turn In. So tap on Turn In. And I'm done. It says at the bottom the assignment is turned in. Okay, so now let's uh, take a look at what it will look like if you turn it in from your computer. Okay, here we are back in the computer version of Google Classroom. I'm going to scroll down to that week three test that needs to be handed in. I showed you how to hand in a file using the Google Classroom on your phone. So for this example, I'm going to turn in the chapter test using my computer. So I'm going to click on that. There's my assignment. I'm going to say view assignment. Once I've opened the assignment, I'm going to go up here and click add or create. Now, I'm going to want to add the file from my Google Drive because when I scanned it using my phone, I uploaded it to my Google Drive. Now, if you had scanned it with your computer scanner and uh, it was now a file on your computer, then you would click on File and then Upload, and then you would click here to select files and navigate to wherever that file is on your computer. You can also drag and drop into this window. Another time where you might want to do that is if you for some reason have trouble getting the file into your Google Drive, you could also in Genius Scan, you could email it to yourself and then from that email attachment, um, you could also use this to attach it to your assignment. Okay, but for our purposes here, I know it's in Google Drive, so I'm going to click on Google Drive. Um, these are the files that were uploaded today, but if, I, if there was nothing there, I would click on my drive. Here's that folder. I'm going to double click on that, and here are the two files. This is the one I want to attach to my assignment, so I click on it, and I click Add. It's uploading that test, and there it is. It's ready to turn in, so my last thing to do would just be to turn it in. So there you have it. That's how you get your handwritten assignments turned in with Google Classroom. If you run into any trouble, just contact your teacher and they should be able to help.